What's going on guys, my name is Push, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, motion track 3D text using only After Effects. Um, so yeah, let's get started, let's get something imported in here, we'll find something. Let's drag it in there. Alright, so for this you're going to have to leave it. Um, size so um, you can't really do any changing of position or scale or anything like that so you're gonna have to leave it like this um, so what you want to do is right click on it go to effect and where is it? perspective and then go to 3d camera tracker we'll let that track so what this is doing is looking through and uh, tracking a bunch of points in here and we'll get to see those points that it's tracked later. Yeah, my computer's going to get a little loud. It's actually cancer. And we'll restart. So what I have to do is long. So yeah, um, this is really easy. Um, and it looks really nice if you do it correctly. So, um, yeah, if you have any other suggestions or tutorials, um, go ahead and leave that in the, in the uh, comments. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys had a good Christmas. I know I did. And it looks like it's finishing up right here. Usually, depending on your computer, it shouldn't take that long, but, yeah. Um, now it's going to solve the camera. And I'll go through a couple of problems you can have and how to fix them too. A little bit later. Yeah. Get out of okay, here we are. What, when, when it's done, you can just click on this and you see a whole bunch of little points. What you're going to want to do is put the this little bullseye where you want your text. Let's, let's do a couple different places. Let's do one right here on the ground right here. So let's click this. Hold control during this entire thing. Click these two. And that makes this surface right here. We'll go ahead and over here. Keep it on there. So what I did there is I right clicked and went to create text and uh, camera. We'll do that, do that again for the other text one. And it's creating it. Hopefully. Come on! Alright, so we got some weird text. Um, character. Alright, so there's the text. And as we scrub through this. Ooh, that's not going so fast. Let's see if it's on this. Resolution. That's another little trick. If you want it to run faster through the previews. You can go to resolution and set it to quarter. So as you can see, it is tracked onto that part of the ship. Um, the closer you keep the text to the little bullseye thing, the, the better it's tracked. So there it is, and it goes along with it. And uh, if we want to like get this in a position where you can actually read it, go to R on that, set all these to zero. Forward a little bit, turn it that way, maybe move it up a little bit. So, yeah, it's connected right there, so it's going to be on that spot. I'll pull it out a little bit, I want you guys to see it a little bit. Alright, so there's that. Let's say we wanted to do another text up here on the, the roof of this. You go over to the cinematic camera tracker, you go up here, select some points that are on this flat surface right here, and it's going to see how it matches, it's flush with that, right click, create text, you don't have to go to create text in the camera this time, the camera's already created, Oop. let's see if we can select just a text, go to R, Right. Close up a little bit. 
it. So, yeah. So there we go. We got our motion track text down there, looking all smexy. Let's go through that one time. Ah, uh, man, this one that sucks. <laughs> I'm barely moving at all. But as you can see, it is motion track down there. Um, there you go. And uh, one issue you might you might have, um, if it says unable to solve for camera, on this like in the middle part, it'll be I don't know, orange maybe. Um, you can try changing this to variable zoom. That fixes it sometimes. So that's one thing you might be able to fix. And another thing is if um, just the nature of your clip, um, the dots when they appear on the screen, the multicolored ones you select to make the bullseye. If those aren't visible, try zooming in a lot because they might be really small according to the camera angle and scale and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. This is Ben Push MD, and I'm out. See ya.